Hi, this is Ann from Design Bundles, and today I'm going to show you how to make a mandala with Procreate and Adobe Illustrator. All right, let's get started. Okay, we're going to start out in Procreate. Now, Procreate isn't free, but it's only $10, which is pretty great for what you get. So I'm gonna first come over here and click the plus button, and we'll choose a new canvas size. I'm gonna create a custom size. Um, I like this to be really big because you need a higher res version once you get into Illustrator. All right, so let's make it 2000 by 2000. And then we'll create. Now it should automatically open, but if it doesn't, just click on the little uh, thumbnail. Okay, now to make a mandala, we need to go up here into the wrench you'll want to choose canvas, which is your second option. Now we'll turn on the drawing guide and we'll edit the drawing guide. Now down at the bottom here, you'll see four options. We want symmetry. And then that gives us four more options down here that look like little squares. And we want the one on the far right. And now you can see there's a grid on our artboard. So we'll come up here and say done. And now I'm going to grab my Apple Pencil. You can also just do this with your hand if you want to, um, but your Apple Pencil, if you have one, it makes it a lot of fun, so much easier too. So first we wanna choose a brush. I'm gonna come up here to the brush, and I like one that is called Monoline Ann, and the only difference between this and Monoline is that um, the Streamline is bumped all the way up to the maximum. So if you want to do this, you can just click on monoline, click and kind of swipe it over and duplicate it. I wouldn't recommend actually overriding monoline. It's best to keep the ones that come with Procreate in case you want to use them later. But what the streamline does is makes it a really smooth line instead of matching all the jagged edges your hand makes. Okay, so we'll choose monoline and And then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to put my, um, I'm going to put my brush size at about, uh, we'll say 43. And now we can just start drawing. If you make any mistakes, you can always go back by just hitting this button right down here. When I'm creating these, I like to keep the spacing between all the black lines about the same. It doesn't have to be perfect, but um, I think it makes it look really consistent and nice. It also makes sense to have all of your black lines connecting. So right here, you can see a part where it's not connecting. I'm just, oops. If this happens, by the way, you can always drag in and it'll snap like that. So I'm going to connect that little piece and then um, I'll just continue drawing out here. Okay, and this one looks ready to go. So I'm going to bring this in Illustrator. And the way to do that is to come up here to your little uh, wrench again, and then choose the third option here, which is share. And then I usually like a PSD, a PNG, or a JPEG. This time I'm going to choose PNG, and it'll export. And since I use all Apple stuff, um, I can use AirDrop, so I'm just going to send this straight to my MacBook Pro. It'll put it into my downloads there. If you don't have that option, you can just use mail and email it to yourself. All right, let's go to Illustrator. Okay, if you used AirDrop, your image will go into your downloads. So you can just go there and then just click and drag it right on top of your Illustrator icon. And this will bring it up into an Illustrator document. Now from here, I usually just click on this with my selection tool and go straight up here to image trace. 
and it might take a minute depending on how fast your computer is, but usually it does a really great job with just black and white images like this. Now I'm going to zoom in on this by hitting Z on my keyboard and then just kind of drawing around a section. And it's looking really great. Um, if you want to change your options here, you can click on this little thing up at the top. If you don't see this bar up here, you can go to window and then control, but just click on that and it'll open your options. In here, you can drag the threshold um, higher or lower to see what that will change. More will get more black into your image and less will do less black in the image. And there are a lot of other advanced options. I usually don't need these when coming straight from Procreate like this, as long as I'm using black and white in my image. But we've got paths, corners, and noise. And you can kind of drag these and see what the effect is on your graphic. And then usually I ignore white. All right, and now I'm going to expand. And when I do that, if I command minus and zoom out, now it's completely a vector. So now we can double click on our color. We can change the color. Um, whoa. Although sometimes you will get this. If that happens, open your color window and just come over here to the fly out and choose RGB. And then, and then it'll change to the color you chose. You can also get to your colors by going to window color. And now since this is a vector, you can cut it with a cutting machine. You can scale it to any size without losing value or quality. Um, so you can zoom in and see really clean lines. So it's that easy to take your Procreate mandala and get it vectorized in Illustrator. It's really a very quick process. All right, I hope you learned a lot from this video. If you liked it and you wanna see more videos like this, please subscribe and you'll be notified when a new video comes out. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.